welcome back to my planet, also known as my YouTube channel. Hope everyone had an awesome week. I hope everyone is staying safe and clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. It has been a hot minute since I have been sitting here in front of my camera making a YouTube video. I think it's been like two weeks. I'll tell you what I've been doing. I have finally started doing those Instagram tutorial videos that are like 60 seconds long. I've been wanting to do them. I made one, no, I made three. <laughs> they turned out really good. And let me tell you, getting a an hour and a half, two hour video down to 60 seconds is challenging. That's what I've been doing. And of course I am still addicted to Fortnite and I have been playing that nonstop. Like the moment I wake up, while I'm having my coffee, I play it. I play it before work. I play it when I get done work. And then on my days off, I play it all day. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm gonna do a makeup look, something purple and pink, and I'm gonna make my video. It feels good to be sitting here and making a video. I just, I feel good. So I'm glad I decided to do it. So if you're new here, welcome. If you are into cooking vlogs, adventure vlogs, anything makeup related, hauls, reviews, how to's, and so much more, then you're in the right place. And I hope that you would please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you wanna be notified as soon as I upload a video, hit that little bell. If you have the YouTube app, you will get a notification on your phone as soon as I upload a video. And who wouldn't wanna do that? I think it's a great idea, just saying. And if you don't like these types of videos, just subscribe anyways. <laughs> I recently went to Ulta and I bought a whole bunch of stuff, all different things. And I was like, why not do a video of my haul that I did? And it's it's a pretty big one. It's not huge, like the Jeffree Star one that I did in the last couple of videos ago, uh, but it's, it's decent and it's all good stuff. And some of the things are new that I've never tried ever. And I got my nails done again. I got sunflowers on them. I asked everyone, what color do you think of when you think of August? And everyone, literally everyone said yellow. So I was like, okay. And I love this like mustard yellow. At first I was like, when I got them done, I was like, I'm gonna get so sick of these. After just a few days, I guarantee I'm gonna wanna change the nail polish color. And you know what? I'm still loving it. And I've had them for about a week and a half now. And I just, I'm surprised. I really like the yellow. If you're in my area and you're wanting to get your nails done, let me know and I will tell you where I go and who to go to. Also with everything going on with this whole COVID and quarantine and Florida is literally the biggest area right now of cases, I really should not be getting my nails done. But I know, personally know the owner of the shop. That's who I go to and I'm friends with her. I trust her. I mean, I wear a mask, she wears a mask. The other customers are six feet away and there's a plexiglass thing in between me and her, so. And they disinfect in between customers, so. You can see here, there's quite a bit of stuff in both the bags and they're kind of heavy. So this is gonna be a really fun video. So I'm just gonna put the bag right here and reach in it like Santa. <laughs> The first thing here is a palette by Makeup Revolution and I love them. They don't get enough credit. A lot of people, I feel like, don't realize how amazing these palettes are. They are so pigmented, they're very easy to blend, they don't get muddy, and they have like a million different palettes of all different color ranges. I love it because it's like marble and you know me, I love marble, <laughs> anything. This one is the Forever Flawless line. So with that, they have like four or five, I don't really know how many they have, but they have a whole bunch of them, all different colors that are the Forever Flawless line by Makeup Revolution. And this one is called Decadent. It's an 18 tan palette. Um, the other thing that I like about it is it's metal. 
a lot of people don't like the metal um palettes and i don't know why because to me they're it's more sturdy it doesn't just open up you know what i mean so if you're like traveling you're driving somewhere and what if you like hit a bump and all your stuff goes flying up it's not gonna open up and possibly break it's like real hard to open i have palettes of all kinds i have palettes that are cardboard like whatever you want to whatever you want to call it plastic metal i like i like them all i don't i don't care as long as there's a mirror you already know how i feel about that there's got to be a mirror if there's no mirror then i'm like oh. so this is what it looks like now it probably looks used and it is because I used it. Not used like I bought it used because that's gross. And I just recently did a look with it and I called it Rosé or Rosé All Day because when I do a makeup look for Instagram, well, when I, what I've been doing, I can't talk today, okay? It's been a while since I made a video. <laughs> what I've been doing when I make my Instagram videos is I will hit shuffle on my phone and whatever song pops up, that's the song that I use and I do the eyeshadow look accordingly. The nice thing about Instagram is you can use songs that are copyrighted. Um, what I do is I just tag the artist and hope they don't mind. So I hit shuffle and it was Mark Brussard and don't come at me if I'm saying his last name wrong, but it's Rose All Day is such a good song. And I was like, okay, well, I don't really have any palettes that are like pinky and and reddish like rose colors you know? so i was like well more of a reason to go get the one that i've been eyeing so anyways this is the palette i'm not going to read the names you can read them right now you can pause your phone or your remote and you can read them yourself yeah <laughs> i'm in like a rare form today i'm so like silly and giggly and i honestly think it's because i just i'm so happy to be back in my chair making a youtube video i know i promised you guys and girls um and Mar martians that i would make a video once a week but life that's all i'm gonna say life and i'm sure you guys understand so so that's the first one i love it the next one that i got is another palette it's also by makeup revolution this one i have not used i haven't even taken it out of the box yet And it looks the same as the box, which, look at that. That is awesome. This is the Wild Animal Palette. When I bought that decadent one that I've been wanting, I saw this one for the first time while I was there. And I was like, oh, those colors are so pretty. And it's another 18 pan palette, which is awesome. This one is not metal. It's their normal like plastic ones. This is what it looks like. Still has that plastic on there. Look at the imprints, the animal stripes. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God. The only thing I don't like is there are no names in the inside and that's like my favorite part is reading the names. And there's no names on the back either. It's just numbered. Those colors, the oranges and the pink and the yellow. And I was just like, I gotta have this. I need this for my collection. The next thing, I need coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually forgot about this. At the time when I went to Ulta and bought everything and I got two palettes that were Makeup Revolution, they had a deal going on. You buy two Makeup Revolution palettes, you get this Brave Spirit palette for free. I didn't even know about it until I cashed out and the lady went over and got it and I was like, that's cool. This is the free palette. It's pretty cute. It's slim. I like the packaging. It's an eight pan palette. This is like hard plastic. This is what it looks like. I do have to say that it reminds me a little bit of Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer. Just a little. Obviously it's not identical and there's some of the colors that are not in his palette but it just reminds me of it. Look at that blue. Whew. It's pretty cool that they were giving that out for free. The next thing that I got, I got two 
of Jeffree Star's eyeshadow brushes. The reason they look like this individually is because I'm not sure if any of you know this. What? I know that some of you know this, that Morphe actually just recently dropped Jeffree Star Cosmetics as a partner. Um, and it's a long story. If you don't know why, just look it up. I don't agree with it. And I still love Jeffree Star. If you want me to make a video on my feelings about Jeffree Star and everything, let me know and I will gladly do that. They were selling them individually for $4. <laughs> They had face brushes, but I don't need those. And I just really wanted his eyeshadow brushes. These were the only ones, so I got these two. I haven't even opened them yet because I wanted to wait to film. JS6 and the JS11. The next thing that I got is a new hairbrush. It's not the prettiest color, but it'll do. It's Conair. I got a new hairbrush in January, a big one. It was like two times the size of this and it broke. It was Revlon, it was like a $15 hairbrush, and it broke. Like this kept coming out, and I kept putting it back in, and it just wouldn't stay, and I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hot glue it, because you know what, it shouldn't be coming out, so. I honestly always get these Conair square paddle brushes, and I love them, and they usually last forever. I get a new hairbrush every year, because hello OCD. So the next couple things that I got were in the clearance section. They're both by e.l.f. This one is the face and eye gloss. I have been wanting one of these for a very long time because I am obsessed with that eye look where they just have like, it's like wet looking on your lid. And then the other one that I really like is where it's like wet on your lid and then they just do some eyeliner like in the crease. And that's it. And it's so simple, but so pretty. I don't know if it's going to be shimmery, sparkly. I'm really hoping it's not going to be. And that it'll just be super glossy. But it is very sparkly. And then the other one is the same line. Um, the other one is Jelly Pop. This one's Juicy Gloss. Watermelon Pop. It's supposed to be like high shine, like mega, mega, super glossy. I've been told that it's not sticky at all. It's just, I just love that look where it's like super glossy lips and like the wet eye. You can see it's like super gloss. <sighs> Yum. Next thing that I got is a lip scrub by Wet n Wild. Watermelon. I have been obsessed with watermelon since I was a kid. Oh, God. You know what it smells like is the Lip Smackers Watermelon Chapstick. Oh my God, I love those. Yum. I got NYX Dewy Setting Spray. My favorite setting spray. And their matte one, which is just a black bottle, is my other favorite. I love this setting spray. It is so good. If you guys have ever tried... MAC Fix Plus, you know that that is literally like top notch. This one is same level of amazingness. <laughs> this is obviously much cheaper. This is like eight bucks. You ever have like um, the setting spray where you, you spray it on your face and then your face just feels like you got like a facelift and it just, you can tell your makeup is setting in place and it's not gonna move and you it kind of feels tight. That's my favorite. And that does that. Get it? You'll love it. Thank me later. <laughs> Next thing I got is the NYX Glitter Goals. It is the liquid eyeshadow. And the wand is like this. But what I do is I transfer it over onto like one of those tiny little liner brushes. And then I use it for my crease. This is gold. I have like the dark black silver one. This one is Industrial Beam. That's weird. Industrial Beam? Is that like a light beam in a warehouse? That's the only thing that I think of. The next thing I got in that bag was a Wet n Wild Lip Treatment Lip Mask. Grapefruit Mint. It's super cute. It's got like that pop art like theme. My best friend, one of my best friends, Nate, actually told me about these. I think he got the lavender one. I'm not sure. 
Um, but I'm not a fan of lavender. Like, I like it, but I don't love it. And I love grapefruit. So this one was, like, awesome. I want to open it and I want to smell. But my nails are not sharp. One of my favorite things are masks, lip masks, face masks, eye masks, under eye masks, hair masks. I love them and I swear by them. Ah, I got it. Oh my God. It smells like something very familiar. What is it? Oh my God, it's something I can't remember. It's very great room. You ever smell something and it reminds you of your childhood from like something that you used to have or eat or something, but you can't remember what it is. This smell, oh my God, it's so familiar. It's like it's from something that I've had before I used to have when I was a kid. That's all I can think of. It instantly made me think of being a kid but I can't put my finger on it and it's driving me nuts. Oh, this is good. It smells familiar, if that makes sense. Oh, I have never used LA Colors and this was in their like clearance section and I just thought it looked really cool. I have heard that they are very pigmented for being how cheap they are. I know these are sold at like the Dollar Tree, but I got this eyeliner. Can't beat those colors. And these. It's basically like the colors that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I hope they're really good. I mean, I've seen people do makeup with LA colors and I'm just like, holy crap. The last thing in that bag is the NYX Glitter Primer. The nice thing about it is you can use this on your eyes and your lips. And you wanna put it on first, obviously that's what primer does. And then you put on the glitter lipstick or the glitter shadow and it's supposed to really make it pop. I know a lot of shadows that I have, they look shimmery and super sparkly, but it's like, even if I wet the brush, it still does not make it that blinding glitter that I want. I love the holographic. Love, love, love it. Now for the last bag, which is really exciting for me. And funny story, everything that I got is in here and it's pretty heavy. When she bagged me up, she put everything in this. And everything was like overflowing and I couldn't even close it. And I wanted to be like, are you serious? Do you have a bag shortage? This isn't going to work for me. So I am always very timid on buying Ulta brand items. And don't get me wrong, I love Ulta and a lot of their things. But I feel like Ulta brand is kind of like great value to Walmart. I don't know why. I just feel like some other things are not going to be as pigmented or high quality like the other brands that they sell. Every time I go into Ulta, I always go straight back to where the Ulta brand section is and they have um, all those different things that they sell. And I'm always like, just get it and try it. But then I look at it and I'm like, I hate to like buy a palette and then never use it because all the ones that I have on my wall over here, I use them all. And the ones that I haven't used yet, I'm about to use them. Ulta has this new line where it's all natural products and they're infused with different types of things like green tea and flowers different flowers like rosehip and lavender. The line, I think it's called Infused or something like that. I don't really know because everything I got is different. But the purpose behind it is that it's more of a natural kind of products and they're infused with natural things. When I saw that, I was like, well, that's interesting. I wonder if it's, if it's good or how it works. So I figured might as well, in, you know, do the, my haul video. And then my next video will be me trying all these things or trying them and then talking about them in my next video.
Well, now, when you go over there to that section where it's all, it says infused, I literally went and I was like, okay, if I'm going to do a video on all these different things, I'm going to buy everything. So I bought everything that was on the shelf. There were a couple things that I did not get because they were out of stock. So, and if they're out of stock, then I'm like, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe people really like this stuff. First thing that I got is Cool Committee. That's what it's called. And it's Cooling Jelly Face Primer infused with green tea extract. I love it, the packaging, because it's glass. It's not cheap. It says green tea extract and rice silk powder work to moisturize and help reduce the appearance of pores. It says apply to clean skin and blend can be worn alone or under makeup for a soft, smooth complexion. And it's like green, a very light green. This cooling would feel really good after doing a good face scrub. That's the first thing that's infused. The next thing that I got is a spray and it's daily dedication. That's what it's called. Facial spray infused with lavender flower water, red algae extract and ginseng extract. And it says lavender flower water, red algae extract and ginseng extract work to brighten, hydrate and refresh the skin. I love a face mist. Also, it's perfect to do in the morning when you wake up, after you do your skincare. It's like a bl light blue tint to it. I mean, it's obviously clear, you can see through it, but it has a blue tint to it. This one is plastic. The next thing I got is a overnight lip mask and it's called Joyful Jelly. All of their little catchphrases for names of each one is super cute. Overnight lip mask infused with macadamia oil. And this one is glass also. The next thing I got is a Radiant Rose lip oil infused with chamomile oil. It's like a lip gloss. Chamomile oil and avocado oil work to soothe and lock in moisture. It's got a pink tint to it. And then I got makeup wipes. I uh, love makeup wipes because if I don't use these, then I will just ruin all of my washcloths. And of course, they're white. <laughs> Renewed reality. Cleansing wipes infused with grapefruit oil and aloe leaf extract. Safe for contact lens users. That's cool. There's 30 of them in there, which is good. The next thing I got, flower power, mattifying face powder infused with rose oil. It'll probably be mostly used for setting creams or something because this is very pale. The last thing I got that's infused, it's a little eyeshadow palette. It's called Natural State and infused with avocado oil and eye bright herb extract. These eyeshadows help moisturize and de-puff while leaving behind stunning pigments that will enhance your natural beauty. And it includes four shimmer eyeshadows and four mattes. It's just like a really pretty nude, everyday kind of palette and you really can't go wrong with one of these. The names obviously are not on the inside and there's no mirror, but they have the names on the back. I'm assuming it's going this way. It's tranquil, radiant, dynamic, and splendid. Lively, vivacious, empower, uh, and go-getter. It does not say if it's cruelty free. Um, I'm hoping it is. The last two things that I got, um, again, are not the infused whatever. A two-pack of beauty blenders. Both are the Ulta Beauty line. Got an angled and a classic. That one's marble. And can't go wrong with these babies. <laughs> they look really nice. I love the little tiny beauty blenders because I like to do it under my eye, you know? So I got this little Real Techniques pack. There's four of them. All different shapes for foundation, concealer, powder, and a highlighter. That's cool. And that's it. So before I end this video, I just want to open up all of those infused things and I want to smell them. Because a lot of these 
ones that go on your face, if they don't smell good, then I cannot put them on my face because I get headaches really easily. And if there's something strong, like a perfume or strong face products near my face, I'll get a headache, like instantly. You know what's crazy is I don't care for lavender and I definitely don't want it near my face. But when I read that, I was like, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it anyways. And if I don't like it, I can give it to somebody. But it smells so good. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. It definitely has like a green tea scent, but it's very faint. Ooh, that feels good. You know, I really like the primers that are tacky because I feel like if they're tacky, then your foundation and your eyeshadow are gonna stick to it even more so than if it wasn't tacky. It's almost like an adhesive. <laughs> this is the macadamia one. It's got a little thingy. Hmm, almost smells like peaches and macadamia. Oh God, it smells so good. Makes me want those peach ring sour gummy candy. It just says macadamia oil, but I am smelling peaches. And this again is the chamomile oil and it says radiant rose. Makes me wonder if it smells like rose. It smells like chamomile tea with rose in it a little bit. Oh God, that's so good. I wanna see if it's sticky. No, it's not sticky at all. I'm always afraid about that when I get certain lip glosses and usually the ones that come in these tubes, you guys remember the Victoria's Secret lip glosses that came in those tubes? They were a little wider than this and they were so sticky. They were like, they looked really good and they were sparkly and they smelled really good, but they were sticky and your lips were like, oh, I'm not gonna open up that powder one, but I do wanna smell these, the grapefruit oil and aloe leaf. Mmm, have you guys ever had the, um, the Neutrogena grapefruit makeup remover, blah, 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 makeup remover wipes and the pink thing? It's like faint but so refreshing. I love anything grapefruit. When I first bought this, I was like, am I really gonna use this? Cause like the colors are kind of bland. But the more I look at it, I'm like, honestly, this is like the perfect little nude palette. And it's small, so you can bring it with you. That's a wrap. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. If any of you go out and buy any of the things that I got, let me know and let me know how you like them. Let me know if you don't like them. I love you all so much and I appreciate all of you that have subscribed to my channel. It means a lot because my ultimate goal is to make this a career and earn an income. And I'm not doing it just for the money. I truly, genuinely enjoy making videos. I love showing the things that I bought and I love reviewing products and I love doing tutorials and how to's and I love doing vlogs and showing you guys all the fun stuff that Danny and I do. I love cooking and I love baking and I love trying new recipes and sharing them. And what better of a place than YouTube to share all of the things that I love? Because a lot of these things, you share them on Facebook and people get sick of them. They don't wanna see makeup looks every day. They don't wanna see your food that you made, <laughs> that you're eating for dinner, they don't care where you take your dog or where you're hiking on the weekend. I mean, obviously some people do, but a lot of people just get sick of seeing those things. And in the YouTube world, it's accepted for all of that, all the time. And you can subscribe and you can watch them or you don't have to, that's the nice thing about it. And I'm sure you can tell already by my few videos that I have that I just love doing this, I love it. It just makes me happy. And these are things that I've always done on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm just, I just love anything that has to do with marketing 
and advertising. And then to be able to do this as a job and not a hobby and earn an income, that's a huge goal of mine. It's literally on my bucket list. Making my YouTube channel was on my bucket list. So I crossed that off this year. Learning how to edit videos and teaching myself was on my bucket list. And I also crossed that off. Any kind of editing that I do in my videos, whether it's adding an image like Saturn and adding my Instagram name right here that you should go follow. I have learned how to do all of these things on my own. I have not asked for any help. I've completely and utterly taught myself from the very beginning of learning to I'm still learning now. I've I've went and I've done a lot of research and I've watched so many videos. I can't even count how many I've watched going back and forth and just trial and error and going back and forth between so many different apps. And I have to say I'm really proud of myself. And editing is hard and it's complex and it's not just this little thing you gotta learn it's this and then this this and this and then this and then this and this and then this and this and this and then that but I am so passionate about learning more and more and more with editing I've actually contemplated on enrolling myself in some kind of a school or classes online or something um, where I can further my education with digital art and editing and all of that stuff because I just love it. It's fun. I can't imagine being somebody that actually has this for a job, a career for their, that they make their living off this. Can you imagine you get to design art, advertise for a living? I love it. I don't it. want this video to be super long. I just wanted to express my thoughts and opinions on how I would love this to be a career. I will never have a time where I'll be like, what should I talk about next? Or what kind of videos should I make? I will never, ever have that happen because there's so many things that I love, so many things that I love to do and talk about. And if you know me personally, I'm a talker. I am not shy. The list is endless of things that I can make videos about. And if you are willing to subscribe to my channel, I will appreciate you so much and I will be super thankful. I'm just in a really great mood. I did my makeup look in a very little short amount of time. It turned out really good. My eyelashes didn't have a problem with those. And it's 1.55. And now I can go and play some Fortnite for the rest of the evening. I hope all of you beautiful Martians of mine are staying safe and sane and happy and I hope you enjoyed this video if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching I love you all and I'll see you in my next video